DNR has failed miserably in the area of education. Education was paramount in that wolf management plan. But what it says, it says uh, they will work to increase social tolerance. They will address perceptions. They haven't done any of that. Um, they don't act, put out tips to avoid conflict. Every year in the UP, when bears come out of hibernation, we see a press release from the DNR telling people to take down their bird feeders. Uh, if bears are around, we're not even going to come around unless you take down your bird feeders. Um, they don't promote the positive aspects of wolves, what they are doing for the ecosystem, uh, and how we have a more balanced ecosystem because of the presence of wolves. It's not by coincidence. If you look at all the diseases that are impacting deer right now, we have EHD, we have uh, CWD, we have uh, bovine tuberculosis. Uh, chronic wasting is not in Michigan yet, but it's in Wisconsin. But every place where we have those diseases affecting deer happens to be in areas where there are no wolves. Wolves can detect those diseases within a deer and wipe out that deer before it can transmit the disease to another deer. Because a deer who can't run as fast with bovine tuberculosis is breathing, as a, he's going to be caught by a wolf. But DNR hasn't done that. I have yet to see one article by DNR saying, hey, don't be feeding deer close to your residence or you're going to be bringing in wolves. Um, promoting ecotourism. DNR is not doing anything in that area either. Um, International Wolf Center up in Ely, Minnesota, brings in $5.5 million directly or indirectly to the local economy because of wolves. Gee, Ely, Minnesota is not much bigger than a town like Antonagi. It's a small little town in Ely, and it brings in $5 million bucks. Boy, how many towns in UP would give what they would do for that? But politically-based management does little to protect the ecological benefits of wolves, and it doesn't increase tolerance. It just relies on fears, distortions, embellished stories, and gives the false impression that hunting of wolves is needed to keep us safe. And uh, with that, reminder to vote no on each of the two proposals.